I'm Jim Clark, and welcome to Women's Soccer Weekly. We're talking with Cavalier head coach Dave Bernard. And Dave, a good win Sunday coming up. Really two back-to-back -to -back tough overtime games. Got the win against Malone on Saturday over there. And really not very good conditions. Yeah, and, and um, to be fair, Malone was you know out a couple players, but I thought our girls did a nice job of you know recognizing that and really um, um, you know, attacking the game. And you know early on, we had them under a lot of pressure early on. Uh, created a, lot, a number of good opportunities early on and, you know, couldn't convert early on, but, you know, it kind of looked like it was going to be another 1-0, you know, game against Malone. But, um, you know, as typically happens when you get, you know, opportunity after opportunity, we, you know, we put a dangerous ball across the box and we were fortunate to, to get an own goal uh, to go up 1-0. Um, second half, we knew that, you know, 1-0 wasn't, probably wasn't going to be good enough in that type of game at Malone, you know, in the weather we had. Um, so I thought we did a nice job of still attacking the game second half. We got a you know a very good early second goal, probably the nicest goal we've had all year. Um, great play, one on one v one with uh, Kristen Conti. Emily Durana made a nice forty yard run to get on the end of it uh, to go up two zero, and then we you know tacked on a third one at the very end. Well, you start the season strong. The first six games, three wins, the losses one zero, one zero, three zero. You had the tough stretch, but now again. Playing good soccer again, the 1-0 loss and a couple overtime to Ashland, the overtime game tie with Ursuline, the win against Malone. Going in the right direction now as you get ready to close the season. Yeah, I think we went through a really tough stretch, played some really, really tough opponents. Um, and then, you know, once we hit Ohio Dominican and Ashland, two, two additionally uh, very good teams, um, you know, I thought we, we started to compete with them and, and play toe-to-toe -to -toe with those teams. Ashland, I thought, was probably our strongest uh, game of the year. Played toe to toe with them for for ninety uh, actually ninety plus minutes. Um, thought we deserved better than than the final result, but you know a great team. And I thought we were able to frustrate them defensively, force them into making mistakes, and then you know you know on our final third, we actually had a lot of great opportunities to uh, to win that game. Well, never really a chance to have a one two punch of Leah and Gerhardt the whole season, which really means a lot. Yeah, and uh, you know with Leah out, you know it's forced us to play you know Jesse in a in a midfield role. And, you know, she really, you know, runs everything in the midfield. She breaks things, breaks things up for us. She's doing a tremendous job. I know she, she'd probably prefer to play up top, but, you know, she's a great team player and she's just doing what's needed. And I think, you know, um, she's doing a tremendous job. Like I said, you know, everything seems to go through her in the midfield. And she allowed, you know, the success we've been having, I think, is a result of her, you know, doing a lot of the dirty work in the midfield. Now, four games left on the road again this week in Tiffin and Finley. Um, they're, they're winnable matches. Yeah, the, the schedule, you know, lightens up a little bit. There's still teams that are getting some decent results. You know, they're both in the middle to, to lower half of the, the table right now. Uh, but Tiffin, you know, has managed to scrape, scrape a few pretty good wins. Um, so it won't be an easy game. They've got a, you know, really nice goalkeeper, and they've got a dangerous player up top. Uh, Finley has two of the top five scorers in the conference. So uh, we'll definitely have to, you know, have a game plan for, for those players. But um, mostly just play our game and try to force them to uh, account for us. Thanks, Dave, and good luck. Thanks, Jim. I'm Jim Clark, and that's Cavaliers Women's Soccer Weekly.